Is it possible for Volkswagen to get out of the mess they're in? Yeah, but it's gonna cost them. Hello and welcome to The Skinny. It's a brand new editorial series with me, Craig Cole. Now, for some reason, my superiors over at the Auto Guide Home Office thought it was a good idea to let me blather on about whatever car-related topics I wanted to, and apparently they still haven't learned their lesson from our ongoing FCC investigation, but you know what? That's going to be their loss. Anyway, it's time to talk about... Diesel Gate. Not long ago, Michael Horn, the president and CEO of Volkswagen's North American operations, clocked out for the last time in order to pursue other opportunities, which eventually could include jail time. But don't discount bocce ball or competitive quilting. He can do a three minute French stitch in 225, I've seen it. And can you really blame him for dashing out the door like that? I mean, who wants that job right now? It's like trying to explain to people how you accidentally burned down a children's hospital. Sorry, officer, I didn't realize Diesel fuel and fertilizer shouldn't be mixed. Not a f chemist. Understandably, this scandal has negatively impacted VW's American sales. In fact, they've dropped by about 14% for the two months of the year, but with the sooty black eye they've received, it's no wonder they haven't declined by half or more. Still, how should the company go about fixing things? Because reports indicate there are nearly 700,000 vehicles in the U.S. that are affected by cheating emissions control software. And for a little bit of perspective, they sold almost 350,000 vehicles in America last year. So that's like two years worth of sales they have to correct. Now, supposedly a fix is still months away. But what if these cars can't be repaired? I mean, suppose the company has to go out and retrofit them with selective catalyst reduction emissions control systems. And of course, that's the technology that uses urea. Let's just tick off a few of the things they would have to add. Extra wiring. New control units and software. Different catalysts. And of course, a storage tank for all of that pea solution. That's gonna be a nightmare, especially if you've been eating asparagus. But I love asparagus. Well, too bad, asparagus isn't in season. Some pundits have called for Volkswagen to completely leave America, but that, frankly, is not an option. Remember, they've got dealership franchise laws to wrangle with. There are existing car warranties that need to be honored. Hell, they even have a manufacturing plant down in Tennessee, so it's not like the company can just run away from all of this. But if I were in charge, here's the plan. I would reach into Wolfsburg's corporate war chest and in one way or another, buy back every single not so clean diesel. Yep, they'd all be scrapped. So right now you're asking, but isn't this going to cost them billions of dollars on top of the billions they're probably going to have to pay in fines? Yeah, it will. But honestly, it's the right thing to do and it may be their only option at this point. It's also probably the best way they can try to repair their blackened reputation. So those are my thoughts, but let me ask this. If you were in charge of Volkswagen, what would you do to fix this scandal? Let us know in the comments section down below. And with that, I'm Craig Cole, and remember, you're just as welcome to disagree with me as you are to be wrong.